So you're wondering why I'm wearing lip red lipstick. Since you guys don't know, as of Wednesday, the final book of Red Queen has been announced. Oops, upside down. The final Red Book Queen has been announced. Yay! I can't wait. Can't wait. This is book one, Red Queen. Book two, Glass Sword. And book three, King's Cage. You ready for the book four title name? All right. You're going to not believe it. So intense. War Storm. Holy shit. I was like, okay, I was like, I have two jobs. Two jobs. My, my first job is in the morning to 1.30 in the afternoon. And then at down, in downtown Phoenix and I work in an office. And then my second job, it's a warehouse, but sad news on that, but long story. Um, I can say there, the warehouse is eventually closing, yes, yeah, the warehouse job. Cause, and so basically those are my two jobs. I go there like for two, three hours and I work it for like a little bit of money. So I look as my morning job as bills and my second job is fun money to like spend on books spend on games spend on everything I want and then the other, the other jobs for like my necessities well here's the thing so hopefully I can extend my hours in November for my next job because I want to buy a war storm it comes out May 15th hopefully by then I figure out something because that book it's gonna be mine. I plan to pre-order it. That's like, uh-uh. I'm planning to plan to pre-order, like, how many books? I'm planning to order, like, at least maybe three books that month. Two books come out May 1st, and then War Storm comes out by May 15th. Oh, yeah. I'll be like, the, there's no tomorrow. And I'm Team Cal. Okay, Team Calisters? Hopefully Team Cal gets this figured out and it wins Mare's heart. He needs to win Mare's heart. He needs to. Oh, speaking of Red Queen book by Victoria Mare, The King's Cage, if you didn't believe me of the signed copy, if I can show you, if I can get the cameras big enough to keep it there. I told you all it was signed. Uh-huh. Sign book. It was funny because my first job in the morning, I'm like so tired out of it. And I'm getting all my work done. I get done correctly. It's a funny thing. I'm like dead asleep with coffee in my hand, drinking coffee, working on my work. And then we have like an hour to spare because they didn't have any work for us until next delivery came. So I'm on my dad. I'm in my workstation. Scrolling through my phone, pl phone, plugged in, it's like, right, it's about to be lunchtime. And I look on Epic Reads, I liked on my Facebook page. And it said, even I looked, I was looking on Twitter and Facebook, and so like anything interesting came up, and I was like, and I saw it, and I was like, wait, am I dreaming? Am I, am I, did I fall asleep at my job, and I'm gonna get let go or something, and I'm, and I'm, like pinching, I'm like somebody pinch me. My, my coworker's like, uh, no, you're not dreaming. This is real life. I'm like, no, let me pinch myself for a second. Ow, I'm not dreaming. And I'm like, oh my god, it's real. The final book, the Red Queen's gonna be announced. The title, They're like the cover too. Like, no, just the title. I'm like, I've been waiting for this. Cause first she delayed it from February to May eighth, but then I found she yesterday she delayed it for one more week to May fifteenth. Not a big delay. I was a little disappointed, but it makes a little longer wait, but if you think of it, we have October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. We have eight months, Red, Red Queen people. Rise as the dawn. Eight more months. We can rise as the dawn again. Oh my god. I was so okay back to the story. So I was looking through and I was like, at first I was thinking, 
what the actual F? Is this really happening? But don't worry, I didn't say that. <laughs> I got like my butt kicked. Not really, just get in trouble over email. Don't want to cuss at work. Keep it professional. Oh my god, I'm like, I'm like, oh my god. I know I was planning to reread the series by fall or late winter. I'm like, late fall or like late fall or late winter and try to get ready for the next book. And I'm just like, oh my god. This is this is so great. Oh my god, I can't wait. So I'm just like thinking about if I'm gonna pre-order it at the bookstore or on Am like Barnes and Noble or changing hands, or I'll just go put it on Amazon and save my money account on Amazon. Usually every Christmas or my birthday, I get like Amazon gift cards. So I'll just save my money, and hopefully I can have enough to pre-order it. I won't pre-order like I won't, usually with me like most people pre-order like the day it's announced. I don't pre-order books. I'm, I only pre-order books like two or three months in advance, or maybe one month in advance. Shortest is about a week. Cause you don't know with Amazon, it could say, "Oh, it's seventy nine nine. No, it's gonna be fifteen ninety eight. Or no, it's gonna be thirteen twenty two. Or or it's gonna be no eleven eleven eighty eight. I'm like, okay. I wait till it gets closer. So they have an official. That's when by then they have an official like pricing for it. Cause the other stores are gonna have it for like twenty dollars. JJ Hands will have it for twenty dollars. Barnes and Noble will have it for twenty bucks. I spent King's Cage at Changing Hands for like this book. It's my baby. Yeah, I, it was originally, let's see if I can find it. It's originally $20. I spent $20 on that, including an extra fee for her to sign the copy. Sign me a copy. Because she was coming to town that time. And I couldn't, and I had to put a notice for her to take them to deliver it after it was signed. Because, like I said, my mom was sick with other stuff going on at the meantime. Like, she was having some... Heart problems, I can't really explain why, you know. She's been having this heart problem for, like, two years. They can't find anything. Maybe a little over a year, maybe close to two. And then all the same time, and, like, then when it comes to May, her asthma, she gets really bad asthma. I'm like, with me, was, so at that time, she was having heart issues. And then I was fighting bronchitis, and I almost got pneumonia to the point where, because I kept, I ignored it for so long. So I had a, so we both had a rest of. In our cozy beds. Well, I had to go to work because I was around, if I was around the fever, they're like, you aren't near out in the fever, you have bronchitis, but you can go to work. You'll just be coughing a lot, just cover your mouth and like normally and take some cough drops. I'm, I'm like, you know, use your cough cough medicine remedy. I'm like, okay. Yeah, it was bad. I was on a humidifier. I was on two med. I was on antibiotic and cough medicine prescribed by the doctor. Because they thought cough drops were not just gonna, not the only thing that was going to stop it. I'm like, oh, why do we have asthma in the family? But at the same time, like reading, I was reading Anna Darkin. And, I, and when you're reading, I know it come this, comes out this, eh, eh, eh. It was like, no, not my book. It was supposed to go your elbow, not the book. Come on, Allie. Like next time you stop reading and cover. Speaking of, I have to reread that one soon and three dark crowns, cause as you know, if I get birthday money or get from the sex equals to my birthday, I'll be reading them. And my birthday is only eight days away. Wait, is it eight days away? Wait, yeah, it is eight days away. Holy shit. I thought it was nine. I am losing my freaking mind. Yeah, other than that, guys, what do you think about the new title, Warstorm, and, oops, wrong book. I want to show the first one in this one. So, what do you think of the fourth book coming? Do you think Teen Cow's going to win? Do you think Teen Maven's going to win? I hope Teen Cow wins. That's my, my, that's me. That's my pick. I hope Team Cal wins. 
I hope Mayor, this is, I hate, sorry Maven, sorry Team Maven people, but I hope Mayor, like, slays and, and defeats Maven and falls in love with Cal in the end and be happy ever after. That's what I hope. But then as Victoria Avery book, where most of her books are not really the always the happily ever after. It's always the betray. Someone dies or something. So hopefully it's a happily ever after. We'll see because of the other three books I read. Like I said, if you if you remember correctly, I highly recommend it. First book, first book before reading Red Queen, read before after reading Red Queen, you know, Glass Sword or before reading Red Queen. I recommend reading the two novellas. They're also in one book called Cruel Cruel Crown. You could get that paperback for like I believe ten bucks at a book at, book, at a bookstore. Any any local bookstore or Barnes and I don't know if Barnes and Noble still carries it, but I know like I was there. I was at the one I was at. I was in there. It's a big popular sell book, but. Check your local bookstore, go on Amazon, get Cruel Crown, and then it has those two novellas, Queen Song, which this is your Queen Song and Steel Scars. Read those, then read Bright Queen, Glass Sword, King's Cage, so you can get ready for War Storm. Because the War Storm is the epic finale. At the same time, like once I was reading King's Cage, I was just like, oh my god, I'm so scared for the finale. It's like I'm excited and I'm scared at the same time. I am like dead scared. Let's see what happens. Cause King's Cage leaves his own humongous cliffhanger. You won't be able to get out till you read book four of War Storm. I don't know when she's gonna announce the cover. She didn't say anything recently I checked I'm checked online. So I'm gonna be watching out for that. I'm gonna post it on my Facebook and Twitter page. And then, and I'll post up for sure. I'll post it on my Instagram, and maybe my Google Plus. Well, I haven't. I hardly post on Google Plus. So basically, I might say something about it on Google Plus tonight or tomorrow, depending on my schedule. And when the cover comes out, I can post all three. And then maybe if I'm able, when it comes out, we can all read it. Hopefully. Hopefully we all get it and read the book. Hopefully I get it the day it comes out. Glass Sword took me forever. I swear. This book was on Amazon. I pre-ordered that weekend it was going to come out. And after the weekend. And I had to wait. I was, it was just like, oh, your book will come Thursday. Or no, they said they said Wednesday. I'm like, okay. And then I, the next day I log in. They're like, oh, I'm sorry. Your book was delayed. It'll come in a week. Ugh, why? And then I'm like, and now nowhere I'm at work. I'm at my old old job. I think it was I can't remember. Was it my nursing home job? I think it was. Was it? Oh god, I don't remember. It's been so long. It was a Wednesday. No, was it? No, it was Thursday. I get this. I get the notification from Amazon on my phone saying, "Your copy has arrived." I was like. Oh my gosh, I'm going through the work day. I'm trying to tell my mom, say, Mom, my book arrived. Can you make sure it's safe? She's like, yes, it's safe. I got it. You're fine. You're covered. You just, it's here at the house. Come get it Sunday. I'm like, okay. Because my mom's like worried about doing it on my condo step. People are going to steal it. So she wants to do it at her house where it's a private community and the whole neighborhood's known. Yeah. So it's basically, that's what it is. Understandable. Because I think in my condo, it's like, yeah, you can live in a condo, people could steal. And it's at your front doorstep or back porch. I just feel like in life, people don't give a shit. And that's just my trust to just talking. I should have brought that up. Not everyone, everyone, everyone cares. Not a lot of people care, and just certain people don't. And those people you stay away from. All right, so when Warstorm was being announced, you guys got to laugh at this. Me and my mom were arguing over the iPhone X because I want the iPhone X one day, but I won't get the day it come out because I'm not financially to pay that much money. So I'm going to wait till the price goes down. Hopefully I can get it because it's got the face ID and I don't really like that. 
And I right now have the iPhone 5S, 5C, and the original 5 is going to go obsolete pretty quick here. But the 5S is still good for like a year or two. So once that goes obsolete, I told my mom and dad, I'll get the iPhone X. They're like, are you out of your freaking mind? Do you know how much that cost? And I'm like, yeah. And you know me. I'm just going to the price goes down to maybe... 800 and then if I get financially get $800 I can go pick it up they're like they're just like you're you're crazy I could spend like $300 on a cheap phone I'm like yeah good luck with that mom back in the day flip phones were like $20 or $40 phones nowadays are not that much anymore good luck yeah so and then and then I'll know where like that's when the announcement came up and I messaged my mom saying, okay, mom, now I'm not going to, I messaged her saying this, mom, now I'm not going to shut up because I am, because right, Victoria Avar is announced in the final book in the Red Queen series and you're going to hear it all day. She's like, okay, go ahead. I'm just like, really? You just told, you were just ignoring me. She's like, no, I'm fine. You talk about books. It's about video games. I just log off. I'm like, oh, there goes my mom being the video game hater. Cause it's not part of her generation. <laughs> my mom and my mom and I are pretty cool. It's so funny because it was like after my grandma died, she tried to. It was like before my mom became so close. I was really close to my grandmother, and then my grandma, when I was seventeen years old, my grandma died from colon cancer, and my mom tried to gain a relationship with me, and I was already going through that independent stage. And we all had that disagreement and arguments, and now what we talked about, we're pretty cool about. There's not like every now and then we'll have a disagreement, like every mother and daughter will. But yeah, so I'm t so, so after I messaged my mom, I messaged Michelle, my best friend Michelle, and I messaged m my good friend Jason, and my friend Jason was hysterical. Michelle was just like, "Oh my God, the Red Queen friends coming!" Like, yes, I know. We got it. We we're gonna. We should do that for a book club. Yeah, me and Michelle are forming a book club, so like a little tiny book club. And I'm texting Jason saying, Jason, now I'm not gonna shut up. He's like, why? The final red book queen is being announced at one o'clock at uh, at Wednesday, Arizona time. And she, he says, You never shut up about books anyways. I'm like, Yep, Red Queen, I will not shut up. And then I go see him at my other job at my second job, and he's like, I'm talking about more storm, more storm, more storm, more storm, red queen, red queen, red queen. He's like, Allison, shut up. I'm like, no, yes, you shut up. Okay, I'm like, don't make me sing Christmas songs in September. He's like, bah humbug. I'm like, okay, Mr. Scrooge, I see how you is. He's like, it's not December. I'm like, then I'm talking about red queens, either that or Christmas songs. He's like, neither. <laughs> I swear he's the most stubborn friend I have. And I just talk about red queen, and he's like, Walking away, and then Michelle's like, Me and Michelle are like in a deep conversation, but like, do you think it's gonna be Cal or Maven? I'm like, I'm like, I'm hoping Cal. Cal and Maven be out. That's what I'm hoping. And we were like, all having this conversation. Me and Michelle were like, at, we, I go leave, we're texting about it and everything. And she's like, That should be a book club book. I'm like, Yeah, I know. I'm thinking like February, March, and April should be a reread month for the Red Queen series. She's like, Yeah. I'm like, yeah, so we can all read War, so all the members who join can read War Storm. And then we can all have this meeting and talk about War Storm and how amazed that we are or how sad we were how the book ended. Because I'm like, I'm like, yeah, at the same time, I'm happy that it's coming out. I've been waiting. But at the same time, I'm sad because it's the last book in the series. So, I, did I expect that to happen to feed the feeling? Yeah. But I don't know how much it will put a pit impact on me. Like, selection kind of put an impact on me, even though I got to it late. Because, you know, like, with me as a little kid, I was always that princess girl, little princess girl. But since, and once it ended, I was just, like, sad. Like, I wouldn't be hearing characters about America Singer or Max and Shreve and Eagle and Shreve and... Oh, and who else? And... All those other characters in Aspen, Aspen Ledger, and 
So, yeah, I was like, I was sad and I was team Maxon because I was just like, Maxon's all the way because he treated her like a queen and, and it was just like amazing. So, I was like, all right. Yeah, so. Other than that. I'm I'm excited for Warstorm. At the same time, I'm scared to see what happens with the epic finale she does. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I'll like it. Hopefully, it's a great ending. And we'll see. Just don't know how what twist she's gonna put in. All right, so I'm gonna sign off. I want to announce that I could not. Hold it for long. I was like, no, since Wednesday. Two days later, I was like, I have to tell you guys. I have to. No ifs and buts on that. All right. I'm signing off. Till next time.